Chris Duke here backstage at ICW Arena and joining me right now ahead of his triple threat match against Lionheart and Wolfgang, we have got Kid Fight. Kid Fight, how are you feeling heading into your match tonight? Well, you know something, Chris, you know, like, all joking aside, you know, to all the ICW fans, let's be honest, I've been having a bit of a laugh, you know, boys here, boys there, teabagging this guy, teabagging that guy, you know, but it's, but when it's all said and done, you know, as much as I enjoy, <laughs> T-Bag and Wolfgang and any of these wee bitch pals, Red Lightning and all the rest of them, you know. As much as I enjoy that, I think tonight I have to be a bit more serious, you know. I have to look at this and think, right, okay, I'm going to be in this ring. I've got me, we've got Lionheart and we've got Wolfgang, two of the best in Scotland, okay. Lionheart, no questions about it. TNA and WWE in 2011, right, he is the man of the moment. He is the main man in Scotland, maybe even the best in the UK today. Okay, now I know how to deal with Wolfgang, okay, time and time again I've showed everybody that, you know, as big as he is, it doesn't really matter, you know. Lionheart, on the other hand, you know, he's a bit of a wild card in the match, nobody knows what's going on with the gold label, and if I'm quite honest, I don't care, Chris, you know. He might have had a wee bitch, a wee moan, a wee grunt with his friends, he might have slapped a bit at Red Lightning, you know, they might have clawed each other, you know, they might not, you know, they might have fell out, you know. Long story short, I don't care, if, you know, the fans might be behind Lionheart now, you know, because with his thing, shall we say, with red lightning. But at the end of the day, I'm in this ring, Wolfgang, Lionheart, I'm there to win. Sure, if we teabag somebody, woohoo, cheap pop. But bottom line is, I'm winning the match, one, two, three, over. Pound for pound, some have said the best wrestler in the UK right now. Let's see where we go. I would argue, however, that Wolfgang is the one at a disadvantage in this match. There are no issues between Lionheart and Kid Fight anymore. But Wolfgang is looking for redemption against Kid Fight ever since the key wagon incident. He was also looking to get revenge on Lionheart for the disgrace of the gold label for leaving him the way he did. Lionheart, who came as close as a midget's pube with then winning the number one contendership for the ICW title. Still very much in front of the fans are definitely making Lionheart feel welcome here tonight. We weren't sure what type of response he was going to get. Just fresh from the gold label. i got to say, Lionheart looks to be in phenomenal condition, Sean. Ladies and gentlemen, the next competitor in the triple threat match, weighing in tonight at 190 pounds, It's going to be interesting to see Kid Fight and Lionheart in the ring for the first time since Lionheart left the gold label. How are these two going to receive each other as they both are in the ring? Kid Fight, like I say, pound for pound to be considered the best wrestler in the UK. He has wrestled in America. He knows every single time of putting in. And Kid Fight looks ready tonight. He is ready to bring the fight here to this three way. You could not get three competitors. So well suited. They know each other inside and out. They have wrestled all around the country, all around the world against each other, but they have never wrestled each other in a three-way dance. Each one of these men wants a victory as they know it can catapult them to the top of the top of the contenders list here in ICW. They want it so they can get a, a match against PT Gunn or Red Light or Jack Chester or whoever is down the way. Gentlemen, let the shower commence. It's time for the entrance of the big man, the gold label's big dog, the big enforcer.
been training at the gym. But you know something? The big man looks ready for tonight. Let's see what he can do. Who'd have thought tea bagging would be very slimming? Who'd have thought? It certainly put me off my dinner, I'll tell you that. A man's balls in my face. You'd never eat meatballs and spaghetti the same way again, would you? Certainly not. Upside down. You wouldn't ask for an extra cheese anyway. But the big man looks to be in phenomenal shape. Like I say, these three have never wrestled each other in a three-way dance. Not here in ICW. Right. Jake wasn't going to fucking do it, you had to belly, fair enough. Oh, there he is, lazy bastard. Where were you when we needed the bell rung? Here we go. Wolfgang. Big forearms. Pounded in viciously to... I don't know if they, these guys have seen each other since the square go. And as to be said, all joking aside, Wolfgang looks absolutely fantastic. Fantastic agility from Lineheart. Oh! Close line by Fight. Oh! Follows it up with some chops. Oh! And a great spinning leg lariat. Close oh, line close <laughs> by Life Lineheart. That's just getting hectic. Oh! And they seem to have teamed up. Oh, Wolfgang, but not for long. There's no friends in professional wrestling. There's certainly no friends in a three-way dance. Oh, wait a minute. Some teamwork going on. Whoa! But you know something? It's very smart. They know that the big man is coming in. Like you see, he's been training very hard in the gym. He is looking to make a name for himself here tonight. He was hitting him with vicious punches, vicious intensity. They want to make sure they beat him down. They want to make sure they keep him down. And then Kid Fight and maybe Lionheart will try and settle who's going to win this. As I said earlier, Wolfgang is at a disadvantage. Maybe not, maybe not, because Lionheart goes straight for Kid Fight as soon as he got the chance. This has all worked out to Wolfgang's benefit, actually. So whoever wins this could literally be anyone's guess. But of course, there we go. Wolfgang is a genuine beef for both of these guys. This must be an absolute treat for him. Fantastic kick out there by Lionheart. All oh, the ropes. These two know each other so well. Oh! An unbelievable drop kick. They have fought side by side. They have fought back to back. But now they are fighting face to face. Did you hear that punch there? Gonna reversal there from Wolfgang. This is where the big man is most dangerous. Don't let him get you in the corner. Oh! Big oh! splash in the corner. Wolfgang heading up top. Oh, kick to the head there by Kid Fight. Wolfgang in a very precious position. And Kid Fight turns his attentions. Oh! oh beautiful delayed drop kick there. And this is where he's, this shows where Kid Fight is so smart. He's going for the pinfall victory. There's no wasted motion here. Wolfgang is out of the fight. He needs to focus on his main rival. Small package here. Oh, Kid not very close to count. Oh! And the strength of Wolfgang runs out once again. But let's not forget about Wolfgang, the big man is 18 stone of romping, stomping, muscle and intensity. He knows exactly how to use his weight to his advantage and he is the big dog in this fight. Showing off as a jello. Oh, oh my god, he just... Attempted a moonsault, missed it. Could have been a... Oh! oh! A variation there of the slam dunk. Showing incredible versatility. Like I say, Wolfgang is a. There's no mistake about it. He's a, oh, he is a title contender in his own right. 
fault and arrow there by by Wolfgang. Who is surprising me? Oh, Wolfgang is teasing. Maybe it's time for a little payback. Maybe it's really? time for a little payback. And now he's going. I do oh, not, not need really, to see Wolfgang's really. balls. I swear to God. That's disgusting. Oh. Well, I might have to see them now through his tights because they'll be as big as grapefruit, Sean David. The virtual planetoids. Oh no! Shattered like broken eggs. The fans want to see it. Is Lightheart just going to allow this? Lightheart just going to step back? Not again! Oh! oh. It's the big bag ball drop on the face of Wolfgang. No one is losing so much weight. That's going to put you off your foot for life. The poor guy's got a nut allergy. That cannot be good. But don't forget the vicious competitive streak of Lionheart. He just lay in wait like a true predator in that ring. And what has Kid Fight got planned? He steps up onto the second rope. But oh, oh no, he stayed there for too long. Kid Fight just took too long. Kid Fight just took too long. Oh! oh! A little bit of double teaming from the former gold level alumni. And I am shocked at that, Billy. These guys are no longer stable mates. Old habits die hard. Old habits die hard. And it was just pure instinct. I think they're addressing this right now. Is Wolfgang trying to make amends? These two men, like I say, they have teamed together. Actually, going to see some double teamwork here from the. Oh, oh, oh! Well, Lightheart just going straight for the cover. Wolfgang, Wolfgang took his, took his eye off his man. Wolfgang took his eye off his man. Lionheart snuck in there for the pinfall. That is a massive mistake and a three way. Kid Fight taking the time for a breather. Are we going to see this explode? Lionheart has kept his distance from every member of the GOAT label. He hasn't responded to the phone calls. He hasn't responded to What's this? What's this? Is this a is this a GOAT label reunion we're seeing here? Seriously? I, I, I don't get it. I, I just... But you know something? Lionheart has made reunions before. And we know how they go. Wolfgang got to have eyes in the back of his head. As must Lionheart. Double DDT! The teamwork didn't pay off. We're finally seeing a count. Could this end? Could... Kid Fight getting up to his feet first here by the looks of things. Lionheart and fight, Lionheart's up, Kid Fight's up. Both Wolf going up to his feet. What do they have planned? Oh! Close lines. Back elbows. Oh, and Wolfgang raking the eyes of Kid Fight. Throws him out. We know that Kid Fight lives in the gym. He might be the best conditioned wrestler, but you know something? There's nothing you can train against a forearm to the face and the ground pound. these two fantastic competitors. Oh! An attempt at a Harakarana there, or perhaps a, some kind of pelvis break takedown. But the big man was just lying away, and do you know something? It's very hard to take that man off his feet if he doesn't want you to. Wolfgang has never had a victory over Lionheart. It's tonight That's the right. night. That's right, he's headed up top anyway. He's dragged Lionheart to where he wants him. We've seen the big man go to the top rope. We know he's diverse as a wrestler. We know he can do virtually any type of style. But Kid, Kid Fight's Fight. back in the match. We've seen this before for Kid Fight. Super flex up the top. And he's not going to let go. He's going to roll through. One more. Can he do it? Oh, final moment. Oh! That could be it. This is going to be it. Oh! 
Yeah, but that was close. That was pretty close. Another final moment attempt here from Lionheart. Another reversal. Both thing reversal. Stalin suplex by the looks of things. Oh my oh! god! Into a modified final moment of his own. And kid fight breaks up just in time. It's like a suplex into a modified, modified version of the black hole slam of the ropes. Total world. Did he oh! take? He hit him with a. A modern version of the Hammerlock DVD, a uh, DTT, I should say. Lockback DTT. The list here in front of me, and I can't even read it. Oh, oh, oh! I take down. I take down. Oh, oh! We haven't seen this before. That is an impressive armbar. We've seen Lionheart tap recently, but it's not the easiest thing to do. But Wolfgang. he's taking his eyes off Wolfgang. Wolfgang up top. Could we be seeing the Wolf Turn Bomb? Could we see it? Yes. Oh! Any momentum kept by had is gone. But can Wolfgang capitalise on it? The crowd cannot believe what they've just seen from Wolfgang. They look away. Is it time for the slam dunk? No, look reversal there. Final moment maybe. But look at the ease. Look at the ease at how Wolfgang can lift Leinhardt. The strength of Wolfgang is unbelievable. But you never oh! saw that coming. It's the final moment. And Lionheart is headed up top. Looks like he's going for his patented fro five star frog splash. Here we go. And he nails it. Referee's got a count. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, but Red Lightning's there. Red Lightning taking out the referee. Billy. Belly Red Lightning returning the favour from a couple of weeks ago. He wants his hands on Lionheart more than anyone. Wolfgang just kicked right, kicked fight back to the outside. I don't know what they have got planned. Oh no, here comes that chair again. We've seen the damage this chair can do. Maybe he wants Wolfgang to hit that pile driver one more time. This time on Lionheart, we've seen what it did to Johnny Moss. And like I say, Wolfgang has never had a victory over Lionheart. And it looks like he'll be happy to take one any way he can. Who's that? Oh! A pile driver to the chair. Kid fight looks like he's out of the game. It's oh! Over. Wolfgang gets the win on Lightheart finally. Wolfgang finally breaks the jinx with a victory over Lionheart with an assist across the red lightning. Jim and here's Scott Jim in. Scott. Jim Scott, the gold label. It's a gold label mauling. The new three man gold label. We haven't seen them together since. Oh my Chris god. Chris Renfrew and BT Gun. The new champion is out here. The NAK are back! New Age Click, saving Kid Fight, saving Lightheart! The Gold Label heading for higher ground! But did they get exactly what they wanted? Kid Fight, Lionheart, it was a oh, tremendous wait, effort! Whoa. These two, there is no love lost between Lionheart and Chris Renfro, these two tried to kill each other in the past. But Lionheart is a free agent, he's no longer part of the gold label. They feuded on and off for the best part of a year. Have times changed? Lionheart is extending the handshake, Chris Renfrew refusing it. Chris Renfrew is never go not going to forget so quick the battles they had. The head wound. BT Gun trying to be peacemaker here. Even the ICW champion BT Gun is willing to give Lionheart a chance by the looks of things. Chris, Chris, can we get a word? 
Yes, so sir. how did that go down? Same thing that happens every time, innit? Gold label see their opportunity, jump people from behind, numbers game. No surprises there, because they can't win on their own anymore. They forgot how to do it. Aye, they've got some of the best athletes in the country, but they're cowards. They're willing to jump people behind, take cheap shots, and I'm sick of it, man. It'll never be over between us. Not until they are finished. So does that explain the no embrace the Lion had at the end of the match there? Damn right it explains that. See, he's out there acting the nice guy, you know, high-fiving everyone, you know, getting on everyone's good side. What, have people got short-term memories? It wasn't that long ago he was running with the gold label, was jumping people from behind. But then he saw the gold label foundation was getting a little bit shaky, and he decided to jump ship. I don't buy it. And I can speak for BT Gun when I say he doesn't buy it either. Then he can know exactly who you are, Lionheart, and we will never, ever embrace you. So, uh, what about Adam Shame from episode one? Adam who? <laughs>
weighing in tonight at 220 pounds, give it up for Jack Chester! One half of the New Age Click and the reigning ICW Heavyweight Champion. These two, like we said, they've been friends. We know that they have, we know that they barely had any contact since this match got announced. We know how seriously Jester's taking the opportunity and a rare show of sportsmanship here in ICW. Billy, you asked me if Jester was going to go the hardcore route. We've seen Jester go extremes because he has had to. He's had to contend with the gold label. He's had to contend with Mikey Whiplash. But he's going one on one with a real friend. At least you know he's not holding anything back. He does. He's certainly not holding anything back. This is hurting already. Fast paced action. Jester hitting with his vicious clotheslines. Oh, look at this showboating for BT Gun already. Oh! Turns it into a nice drop kick. I don't think Jester took too kindly to being bumped around there like a ragdoll. But do you know something? Jester is, a, it's, is the one that keeps going to wrestling hard. Hard hitting clotheslines. A headlock there. A leapfrog. Bang! Big shoulder tackle, lateral press, here we go, hooks leg, but still too early. We talk about Jester, I mean don't get me wrong, BT Gun in his own right can brawl with the best of them. We know Jester can go the hardcore over, will that friendship get in the way? Is it just the case of, alright, let's see who the better man is going to be. This is about the ICW wrestling heavyweight title. Let's see who the better competitor, the better athlete is going to be. A roll up by BT Gun already. Oh, and that was actually quite a close two count there. Crossbody! They know each other so well, they're matching each other move for move. A big close line there, Jester's taking it to the floor. I don't know if that's where BT Gun wants to go, but it looks like... Jester's head's not been in the game just yet. BT Gun, headed outside! Oh! But he ate nothing but guardrail! We talk about how Jester can go out, but that was a brilliant tactical wrestling move. BT Gun could be out. He maybe won the heavyweight title without without even. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Straight into the crowd now. We thought we asked, we wondered how long it might take for them to go to the floor. This may be the only way Jester knows an ICW. He can't help himself. We can't see where they're going, they're going out to the crowd, brawling through. We're fighting through the crowd and we've got no intentions. Oh no! I just saw that box. I just saw one of the machines moving. Hang on, hang on. Are they going for the punch machine? Yes. Who put the pound coin in? Is that my pound coin? I've only got a pound, Sean. I only get paid a pound for this. We've been fucking robbed, Billy. We've been fucked. We've fucking been robbed. robbed. What a horrible way to end this episode. What a fucking man. I'm a pound down. How are we getting the bus? Where's the machete, man? Where's the machete? Oh! We might be losing it, but they're certainly not. They are still taking it to the max. I want to know what score they're getting. Well, as you can see, folks, we're just waiting here. Waiting on them. Oh, okay, Billy's not going to waste right. any time. I'm trying to see what the fuck is going on. They're brawling through the crowd. Oh! Jack Jester with a vicious body drop there. James. On BT Gun. There's only room on this table for what is that? Jester's on the bar and he's got evil intentions on his mind. Oh! 
Oh, a vicious elbow drop. Jack Jester only ever seems to have one game plan when he goes into wrestling. That man aims to misbehave. Come on! The bar staff are scattered and they have no idea what the fuck is going on. Finally, they're bringing it back to the ring. I need to get that. Oh. Because you can't put a claim in, Billy. Let's go, Jester! And finally, these two fantastic competitors are bringing it back to the ring. BT, oh! Whoa. Jack Jester seems to be working on the head and neck. We've seen him with the elbow drops. We've seen him with. Oh! And it's a big leg drop off the ring apron. A, a patented move of Jack Jester, who knows full well, like we'd say, we make no bones about it. They are friends, but they are not taking it easy on each other and make no bones about it. Jack Jester normally competes in Falls County anywhere matches. We've seen him against, but he knows he needs to bring it back to the ring. He needs to know, he, he needs to know. He gets a, a one, two, three in that ring to win the heavyweight title. BT gone. With a stomp to the chest of Jester. Did he go into the corner? Over the top, that's the reversal. Oh! That kid, he could have knocked him out. Does oh, BT Gunn have plan from here to defend his ICW Championship? Oh! The body is not meant to bend that way, Sean. Oh, that's going to be the hardest chop of the night. No one throws them harder than BT Gun. Oh, and he might have a waistcoat on, but you can see the already crimson chest, the bloody chest of Jack Jester. Do this, press. And right from BT Gun, who balls up the bus. Oh, tries for a sense on, but Jester gets her knees up in time. And Jester waiting on BT Gun turning around, but to the cut. Tiger driver coming up. Oh! Ooh, that was very close. We were just a millisecond away from having a new heavyweight champion in the form of the Prince of Darkness, Jack Jester. BT Gunn has spent a year and a half chasing the SW title. He does not want to be a transitional champion. But Jack Jester. Jack Jester. Jack Jester has taken something from under our table here. I can't see what it is. I don't know what it is. I can't see what it is. He's. Oh no. No way. Oh. But these guys are. Oh no. It is the thumbtacks. Lars and Glitter. Well. There's an ex oh no, no! Oh. But he took his eyes off the heavyweight champion! Uh oh! He better be it's Jester. Jester's not out though. Jester's not out. Did you see that? Oh! Jester, more than his fist for those. We were asking the question what would these two friends do? The question is the answer is anything! Oh! And he's still rolling about. He's taking him in that injured arm that we know of Jack Jester. He's got thumbtacks and he's lying in. Jester punctured like a fucking balloon. BT Gun. thumbtacks. BT Gun is looking under the ring. There's his chair. He's got the chair taking it back from the gold label. He seems to have commandeered it over the last few months. That chair's taken a beating over the last few weeks. That thing's like, so bent you could eat cereal out of it. <laughs> Into the gut. Over the back. Oh! Bad. Oh no! That could be the knockout. They're still wrestling in the thumbtack shot. We're back in concussion central with that chair shot. That, ch that, that chair's been pounded once and worse than Jordan's vagina. That's a. So I said vagina, that's its name, that's its name. And as Jordan likes to call it, the Kraken. But you know something? Jack Jester is used to rest. What? He's filling the chair. He's filling it with 
thumbtacks. Well, he's doing like you said, Sean. He seems to be using it as a bowl. Uh, I don't know, BT, if it's the time for housekeeping. Maybe put out some shaking back or something. Oh, oh no! You are so Oh me. no! No way! No way! BT Gun, I don't. Uh, he just knew that Jack Jester had some evil intentions. Oh! That was held on Mars. They have that kick in hell. What? A, what? What's BT got planned here? I just can't see. He's gonna throw him into the No. Oh! God, BT Gun has got thumbtack contact lenses. What is going on? I don't fucking want those. The crowd very much 50 50 here. Both these men very much fat favorites. This has become the most dangerous match in ICW in a long, long time. Two friends that are desperate to get the ICW title around the waist. Jack, like I say, these two are friends. Is that cooking away in the back of Jack Jester's mind? Would he go up? Yes, it oh, is. But yes, no. it is. Because there is that corkscrew. Is he going to use the corkscrew and BT gun? We know the damage that Mikey Whiplash did to him. Surely oh, Jester. Oh, no! Jester! Has gone to extreme lengths. Jester knows what that thing does to people. He's mutilating a friend. We asked the question what Jack Jester would do to win the ICW heavyweight title. And he looks like he's willing to kill Pete again. He's gone no, for no, a tombstone. No way. No way. Oh! Jester's Pete again's busted open. He's. Oh! Out. I thought it was going to be a short reign there for BT Gun with the ICW Heavyweight Championship. What a horrible way to make him lose this title. BT Gun is absolutely gushing blood. It's like Carney all over again. He is wearing, as George Soley, the godfather of commentators, would say, the Crimson Mask. But the champion is very much not out. Whoa! He just went flying over the first couple of rows into the crowd. If you come to an ICW show and you get a wrestler near you, you run like fuck. Well, now there's two. Jester's in there as well. And really, this ain't looking good for BT Gun. Oh, where are they headed, Billy? Where are they headed? The champion is a fighting champion. Am I going to have to get back on the table? Seriously? I, these guys, I think they're headed up top. I don't know. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. No. No way. They're up top. Oh, no. No. No, no. No. Please don't do it. Don't do it, Jester. Jack Jester, is, is he wondering, can I do that to a friend? BT Gun, surely not. He needs to go off there. He needs Jester, to go, no! Get off there, stat. Get the hell off that thing. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be at least 30 foot up. We've seen him throw the ball going to be never this high. No! No! Oh! Look at Jester's face. Somebody call 118, 118. BT Gun is dead! Sean, did you see the look on Jack Jester's face? He was like, what have I done? Look! What have I done? He cannot believe the leg he has gone to! Did he just get caught up in the competitive moment? He's actually stunned. Look, I cannot believe the reaction we're seeing right now. Jack Jester has had to go to some very dark places over the last six months. I've never seen Jack Jester so that kind of remorse. BT Gun somehow back in the ring. The security and the fans just pretty much got him there. He's, he's trying to mop up his own blood. His blood is dripping like a 
popping top. It is squirting out of his chest. Oh, out of his head. Quite, oh no, I'm quite squeamish. Oh, 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 oh. But BT Gunn is not letting it slow him down. Oh! Let us be over. Oh! This needs to finish. This is For getting everyone's benefit. This is getting so close. BT Gun, gushing on earlier on. Look at the blood. Look at the blood on his back. Honestly, it's beginning to look worse than a giantess's tampon. He is covered in blood. The booty shaker! The booty shaker, could that be it? Please! Jack Jester keeps coming back. He's used to fighting in these. That is fucking disgusting the amount of blood that BT Gun is losing right now. He's Beat. got a thumbtack in him. BT Gun, uh, BT Gun is against the clock. It will only be a little matter of time before that loss of blood will start to affect him. He will start to lose consciousness. He might not be able to Whoa. continue. We might see the ICWs. Oh, no. oh. I can barely remain coherent. I apologize, is but this match is having such an effect. With every drip of blood that is coming out of BT Gun's neck is his title reign dripping away. What has Jack Jester done? Oh, he took a kick in the chair. The chair caught him in the forehead. Jack Chester looks like he's totally lost his equilibrium. BT Gun's not far behind him. The British shaker one more time. Could this be it? Could this Please, be it? Let this be it. Yes. BT Gun retains. BT Gun retains the ICW Heavyweight Championship. Jester himself going across to check on the condition of BT Gun. I don't, I honestly don't know. It shows what a fighting champion BT Gun is to pull that victory out. BT Gun has retained the title, but he might not make it through the night. Medical staff are currently circulating the ring. Even Jester trying to stop the flow of blood on BT Gun's face. Oh my god! What? Billy. What a heavyweight title match, Sean! You look like you're going as white as a ghost! That match is going to give me nightmares. Mikey what Whiplash! What What's Whiplash? Whiplash out here taunting Mike? Taunting Jester! The... What the hell's going on? Honestly, sir, did you not see that? Well, I that honestly. That match is going to make. Yes, go! Go! 